YouTube, 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 what's up, baby? We're back in the sting again for another review. This is Q's Insight. I am Kali, and today I'm going to be talking about Resident Evil Episode uh, 3, entitled The Light. Now, if you've been to this channel before, you already know how we do it. We started off with the premise, three favorite scenes, the grade, and then we're on to the next one, right? So, um, again, um, this is Resident Evil uh, Episode 3, entitled The Light. Um, so, for this one... Um, we start off with uh, with Evelyn being interviewed about um, the joy drug, and um, then after that, um, they talk about uh, what happened before to uh, to the Raccoon City. Um, basically, it is it is what I said last time. Like I, I was saying that maybe. An outbreak already happened with the T virus, and this is just a new like a new version of the T virus, what they what they call joy. So they already knew, um, you know, that this was a, a chance that you know an outbreak could happen because it already happened before. Plus, they saw the outbreak happen in Tijuana, so it's like, man, you know, they just really don't care. And we find out that Evelyn is taken uh, over umbrella from her father when her father passed away. All right. So when her father was in head, that's when the T virus happened, most likely. And now that she's in head, now we got the joy drug and then this is happening. So it's like a uh, repeating cycle. Right. But anyways, um, you know, she she's just trying to per se do something different than her father and change the world but we all know that it's basically headed into the same direct path as what her father did so anyways then we pick up in the future and we see jade running from umbrella picking up from the last episode where you know she was trying to get into that transportation and umbrella came and they started shooting up the place so anyways jade ends up finding this kid um and he saves him or and she saves him because he's alone during this attack and then jade continues to hide from umbrella uh along with the kid and then we go back to the past and we see jade uh gets home from school and she wants to talk to billy um basically about what she has found out from um with the help of simon when she talked to angel um do like the little zoom conference thing you know um she wants to talk to billy about that uh and then we see billy's in the bathroom and she are is she's either in her room or the bathroom i think she's in her bathroom at the time and we see that she's still changing albert their father comes home and he goes to his lab and he sees that the rat is missing the rat that got injected with billy's blood so he knows that the rat is infected you know and um you know it's missing so he needs to find it then we go back to the future and jade talks to um the parents of the kid she saved and um basically they're she's trying to figure out why they haven't caught a ride to you know get to callius already they could have been caught it and then she finds out that they're actually smuggling like i don't know if it's like alcohol or some type of medicine or something like that and if they get caught they can get in trouble but if they you know are able to get across and they have this abundance of 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 stuff that they smuggled it could be worth a lot of money and they can you know they can they can you know make something out of it so she tells them like you know hey we'll all tag along together and you know we'll get to callius all together so that's the plan for all of them plus jade um then we go back to the past and albert uh ends up finding dicks the the rat that he experimented on and then billy finally comes out of the bathroom but she walks straight into her room and she doesn't even talk to jade at all then we go back to the future <laughs> and jade decides to um like I said, tag along with the family that she had just met. 
and you know they're they're basically headed to this uh, this rendezvous point to where in which they can catch a ride to get to Callius altogether. Then we go back to the past and we see Billy is still changing, right? But Billy actually gets up this day and she wants to go to school. And her father, Albert, doesn't think that it's a good idea, but she won't have it. She insists that she goes. And so she does go to school. And Albert, before, you know, Billy leaves out the door and Jade is about to leave and follow right behind her. Albert tells Jade, hey, like, watch your sister. And, you know, she knows that she needs to watch her sister because her father said it, but also because of, you know, she knows that she knows what Umbrella has been up to. And she knows that her sister has there's a chance that she's infected. So she she already knew that, you know, what I'm saying even with how I'm saying that. Um, so Jade and Billy arrive at school uh, and we see that Billy right off the back. She isn't herself like us, like. The light is bothering her. Um, certain sounds are really loud to her and it hurts her. Um, and, you know, it's just it's just looking like a bad idea that she went to school. Um, Jaden's talking to Simon for a second. And um, she's, she's, she wants to ask him for more help to, to get more information about of uh, about Umbrella. Um and then uh, Billy is like seeing her sister kind of like, you know, have a boyfriend and uh, you only, I've only been going a day and all this stuff like that. So it's like a little bit of jealousy, I think. But also, you know, she's sick right now. So Billy ends up leaving, ditching um, Jade and Billy ends up going to class. Um, then we go back to the future and Jade and the family, uh, you know, get on this like it's like per se a train but it's not it's like three or four cars like that are like chained together per se you know what i'm saying and this is the ride they're going to take to get to Callius. and um so they they get on and they're they're preparing to to leave then we go back to the past and uh, we see that Evelyn and Albert um, have a meeting with the higher ups about the joy drug. And we see that, you know, Evelyn, of course, wants to push the drug, thinking that it's a billion dollars, uh, billion dollar idea. And we see Albert coming with the alternatives like, yeah, you know, this can happen and this can happen and he can be all positive. But we've seen before through the outbreak of the old raccoon city. You know what I'm saying? When things didn't go well and that stuff happened. The same thing could happen here. And Evelyn, you know, Evelyn wins though. Evelyn wins through this, through this, uh, in this meeting because she pushes it to the point where this is worth a billion dollars, not even worth a billion dollars, worth a trillion dollars because we find out that the drug, not only can it make you happy and all these other things like that, whatever it may be, but it can also be used as a control um, type of thing. So people that use a drug will be under per se control. So, you know, it just, you, you know, evil people, man, you know, evil people, and you know, you know how they love money, you know, they'll do whatever to get money. So she ends up winning that conference. You feel me? Um, even though, you know, Evelyn and, and Albert are partners per se, Albert was pushing towards not releasing the joy um, drug until like he can, you know, work on it more and make sure everything is, is, is substantial. But her is just like, let's take it now. Let's sell it, package it up. Let's get this money. You know what I'm saying? Um, so then we go uh, back to the school and we see Billy um, still doesn't feel well. And, um, you know, it's, it's beginning to be a problem because we're coming up on the three days that she's been affected for. We've already seen her display, um, you know, aggressiveness. We've seen blood come from her mouth. Um, we've seen, you know, the lights bothering her. We've seen that the noise bothers her. So it's like, you know, if she doesn't get somewhere safe soon and, and get things under wraps, 
then, you know, she she's most likely going to have an outbreak and therefore will create an outbreak. You know what I'm saying? So then from there, we go back to the future and we see uh, Baxter is right on Jade's tail because she ends up he ends up talking to the guy that gives Jade and that family a ride to Callius. Um, and then we see Jade and the family and they're still on a move in a transport. <clears throat> and we see uh, Baxter and the men, they end up catching up to the transport. And Jade and, 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 and uh, you know, everybody that's in that transport, plus Baxter and his men, they're all attacked by liquors. And a lot of people end up dying. Um, but Jade ends up escaping with that family behind this gate. And I think it's like one more other dude that escapes with them. And then from there, we cut back to the past and we see Evelyn. We see Evelyn and um, Albert have a talk about, you know, the joy drug and Albert, you know, knowing that what can happen, he wants to make a cure before, you know, selling these things, because if an outbreak happens, it's too late. You know what I'm saying? You can make a cure, but you rather have the cure as soon as the outbreak happens, because you can stop it right there. And then if the outbreak happens and it's spreading and you're still trying to make a cure, you know, eventually maybe you'll get that cure, but it's going to be so much devastation that happened in between that time before you got the cure and before you um, didn't have it. You know what I'm saying? So he's, he's, he's begging Evelyn, like, look, like we'll still do this stuff, but let me make the cure so we can just cover our backs. Plus you imagine how much more money you'll make if you have the cure as well. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and she, she's like, all right, cool. Well, your main focus is the joy drug. After hours, if you want to work on uh, the cure, you can do that. But your main focus is the joy drug, period. Um, then, we, then we go back to Billy and Jade at school. And Billy hasn't um, been in contact with Jade. So, you know, of course, Jade is worried about Billy. Uh, we go to the scene where we look at Billy in class and she just looks worse, like worse. And she ends up having like these visions and stuff like that. So um, she she she's like trying to leave now. She's like having these visions and embarrassing herself in, in the class, stuff like that. So she's trying to get up and get out. And then we go back to the path. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And then we go back to the future and we see Jade and a few others um, that went behind that gate. They actually went underneath ground. So they're trying to find a way to get back to the surface. So that way they can, you know, continue to make their way to Callius because they they're almost there, per se. And then we find out that so the little boy that she saved earlier, his name is Liam, and he has he's been affected for a while and his parents just didn't say anything. And that's the reason why they couldn't get a ride to Callius. They put on a front, like, the reason why they couldn't get a ride is because they were smuggling, you know, whatever that was, booze or medicine or whatever it may be. But the real reason is because um, their son Liam was infected. Um, then we, we get more trouble because while underground, find out that there's a big old spider there. And it starts chasing them. Um, it kills one of the guys. And then it's just Liam, his father, his mother, and Jade. And they're trying to uh, escape from this, this spider. So they go into this one room. And Liam's father ends up sacrificing himself. He goes out there to fight the spider. And uh, he gets killed. And um, from that, it gives... You know, Liam, his mother, and Jade some time to run down the hall to escape. So that's what they do. They run down the hall to escape. 
Um, and once they get to the wall, it's like this door that shuts or whatever automatically, or not automatically, but you got to pull a lever and the door shuts. So the spider's been chasing them. Jade pulls the lever once everybody's in. And right as the spider's about to stick his head in, the, the door closes right on the spider's head. So they kill the spider that way. So they're safe now, per se. Then we go back to the past and we see uh, Simon questions Jade about what she's got him doing. Like, you know, um, trying to get this information about Umbrella. Like, what are you really trying to do type stuff? And Billy is looking at them talking from a distance and it looks like they're arguing, per se. Like, like Simon and Jade looks like to Billy, it looks to Billy like like Simon and Jade are arguing. So since she's sick and everything like that, she just runs over there. She pushes Billy against the wall. I'm sorry, Billy pushes Simon against the wall. And then her sis and then Jade is like, yo, what are you doing? Da, da, da. And then she accidentally uh Billy turns around, she accidentally slaps Jade in the face. And then this makes, you know, Billy just uncomfortable and everything like that. So she just runs away. And Jade can't stop her. And then all of a sudden we see Evelyn show up and we come to find out that, you know, Simon's mother is Evelyn. So it's like, yo, what, what this is crazy, right? Um, so anyways, after Evelyn catches up with Jade and everything like that, Jade goes home, Billy is there. Um, and then Billy explains to Jade, you know, something's wrong with me. And then Jade explains to Billy, like, I know what's going on. Like, you know, I've been, I hacked Umbrella. I found this information, da, 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 da. And, you know, so she explains everything that happened. And then we go back to the future. And Jade tells um, Anya, which is uh, Liam's mother, to leave Liam because the virus has him now. And he's no longer himself. But she says, I can't do that. So Jade ends up just going by herself to the surface. As soon as she hits the surface, Baxter is there waiting for her. And you think all everything is like crazy, but then it gets even more crazier because a brotherhood pops up from the bushes and they shoot Baxter, but he's not dead. And then they knock out Jade, even though she's like, I'm not I'm not with the umbrella, I'm not with the umbrella. They just knock her out. And that's how the episode ends. So we'll have to see, you know, what the next episode brings. Uh, my three favorite scenes will be the scene with the Lakers when they were attacking everybody, bro. They were massacring people, like, just crazy. Like, just people were just getting pulled by them tongues, like, from distances, bro. Like, it was crazy, bro. And then my second favorite scene will be that spider, bro. Like, he did some damage, especially when he had killed uh, Liam's father, bro. He split that fool in half. I was like, yo! That was just crazy, bro, that spider. My third favorite scene will be Evelyn, um... You know, finding out that Evelyn's the mother of Simon. Like, that was just a crazy turn of events. I didn't even think nothing about that. Like, just just crazy, man. It's setting up for some crazy things to happen in the future. Uh, to me, uh, I think this episode is an 8 out of 10, man. 8 out of 10 for me, all right? Um, so, if you saw this episode, let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments down below. You know, did you like it? Do you think things are picking up? Or do you think that... You know, things are just still trash. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments down below. All right. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. As always, this is Q's Insight. I am Callie. Until next time.